Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at KTALnews.com and your Weather Authority app. I'm meteorologist Josh Marsis. This is your Wednesday morning forecast update. Uh, later today, we do have the threat of seeing some strong to severe storms. For most areas, the uh, threat will ramp up just after sunset tonight, but there may be a few areas where the storms are able to get going this afternoon, maybe sometime after 4 p.m. or so. But the uh, main risk for us will be for some damaging wind gusts, but there is uh, the expectation initially. Initially, these storms can bring some large hail, and there is a threat of seeing a few tornadoes as well, but that threat uh, should dissipate pretty quickly once we get closer to midnight tonight. So look at what we're dealing with this morning. We'll be waiting all day for these storms to fire up, so I think most of us, if you're in that uh, typical 9 to 5 work environment, just fine today as we won't see that severe threat ramp up until uh, after the work hour is done for most of us. But you can see this morning we're dealing with some fog out there. Fog is definitely thicker on I-20 as well as I-49. You can see that on the uh, camera this morning in Marshall, and we'll probably see the fog around through about 9 o'clock this morning, so uh, that will be the early morning issue for us. We'll break through the fog. It will be a mostly cloudy day and may begin to see some rain pop up uh, just after the noon hour today where the temperatures will be a little bit warmer south of I-20 right now in the 60s in most areas, but the northern Arkeltex a lot cooler in the 40s and 50s to start out. Wind's pretty light right now, but as we continue through the day, you will feel those winds uh, start to to stiffen up and we should have a few wind gusts today about 20 to 25 miles per hour of course the south wind is transporting all of that warm humid air into the region so high temperatures today will be in the upper 70s believe the record in shreveport is 83 and if we see more sun than uh, what is forecast here we may make a run at 83 or so but I, I do think the clouds will probably hold most locations below 80 or so and uh, the area of low pressure that's what's going to be driving this cold front in after sunset it is located near the four corners so, uh, again, this has a lot of real estate to cover before it moves into the Arkeltex, and that's why we're really not expecting the stronger storms will arrive until uh, much later tonight. So this is a look at the uh, HRRR, the high-resolution rapid refresh model. It runs every hour, so it usually has a pretty good handle on uh, severe weather the day of. And it is just showing some light rain popping up between uh, now and sunset, uh, but it does show those storms out there in northeast Texas that get going just after sunset, and those will be the storms that have to be watched uh, closely tonight for that severe weather threat. Again, we are in the slight risk outlook here. Still think wind will be the main risk for us, but we can't rule out some hail and a uh, few tornadoes as well. And looking at future cast here uh, from Robbins Toyota, it does show the clouds picking up uh, this morning. And also this uh, particular model, just like the last one, is showing some light rain popping up this afternoon. What we'll have to watch though, it is possible one of these little storms that pops up in the afternoon could uh, just tap into the right ingredients and become severe and uh, again any storms that occur before sunset tonight will have the potential of bringing all severe weather hazards but once we're past sunset I think these storms here would carry uh, mostly the wind and hail threat and you'll see this line completely dissipates here uh, so the take-home message would be uh, the rain the storms if they do ramp up in Texarkana probably just before midnight Shreveport uh, maybe between midnight and 2 a.m when we could see those storms move through. But again, future cast really weakens those out and does not show uh, any severe weather once the line gets south of I-30. So it is a, a definite scenario that we don't see much severe weather tonight. And that's the hope for us is that once we hit sunset, the ingredients uh, kind of fall apart to see the severe storms. But uh, nonetheless, we will be watching uh, all those areas later tonight for that potential for severe weather. Uh, look at the rainfall here. Again, that's something we've been watching for the last week with the lakes and rivers running close to flood stage. Uh, appears there may be some areas here that pick up over half an inch of rain north of I-30, but most of us uh, showing less than a quarter inch of rainfall. So again, the flash flood threat, thankfully low. The rivers and lakes not likely to be impacted much if we see a quarter to maybe three quarters of an inch of rain but we'll dry out quickly maybe slow to clear tomorrow the clouds may be with us early uh, we should wind up in the 60s and that cooler air settling in Friday and Saturday for sure but then a nice warm-up coming on Sunday uh, of course the uh, Mardi Gras parades going on this weekend so we should have great weather for that both days and uh, next week looks like we have some additional rain coming in maybe by Monday uh, but more likely we'll see those showers and storms pop up late Tuesday and into Wednesday